So I'm asked all the time, do you, did you catch The Walking Dead last night? I said, yeah, I saw The Walking Dead last night, saw him this morning, saw him at the school when I dropped my kids off. I see them all the time, shuffling with their heads down, got something in their hand they're staring at, walking into poles, walking into traffic. Sometimes they drop into fountains, into holes. Hi, I'm Sergeant Mike Farr. I'm a sergeant with the Denver Police Department. I'm an accident investigator and a collision reconstructionist. My job is to investigate the serious injury and fatal crashes in the city. We have a lot of crashes we investigate where folks have their iPod or their earbuds in and they are texting or surfing the net or playing games while walking in the street. Most of our pedestrians are struck at the lower leg by the leading edge, the bumper of the car. And that starts fracturing healthy legs at about 15 miles an hour. The other injuries we see with pedestrians aren't just leg injuries, but trauma to the uh, torso and head injuries. When you're thrown to the pavement, you hit your head, that's an injury you may never recover from. We had a student who was headed to school, East High School, and she was stopped at the light, waited for the walk signal to cross Colfax at Elizabeth. Well, she started out into the street, but she let her guard down as she crossed into the crosswalk. Believing that she had the right of way, and certainly she did, she also believed that everybody was going to do their part. Well, we had a, a driver of a motor vehicle who did not. Unfortunately, um, she didn't see the danger coming, and a driver ran the red light and struck her. Crossing the street is not a time to update your Facebook status. Not a time to get that kill on Call of Duty. For the 20 seconds it's going to take you to cross the street, put that cell phone away. Walk facing the traffic. And the reason for that is so that you can see others who are making mistakes, keep your head up. Always look around and be ready for that danger. At some point during the day, we are all pedestrians walking somewhere. I can't stress enough how important it is to be aware of your surroundings and obey the rules of the road. You don't ever want to meet me because if you see me on a crash scene, someone's had a very bad day.